stands plural. Position the stands so that when you lower the car, they will lower onto the stand. And I like to make this little. Have you ever seen a CLA class? I actually quite like that. It looks really nice. Um, class is done. It's 1.52. Welcome to today. Um, it's supposed to be cloudy and then sunny and we're still very much in the cloudy part of the day. It's nice and warm though. It's 70 degrees. Um, but you don't know why I have windows up. We got an E90 up there. You can cross. It's probably kind of awkward. I'm filming you across the street. But yeah, talked with Joe for a little bit today. Met up with Cannon for a minute. Um, I'm gonna go home now and uh, that watch band showed up. I, I remember bitching about it I think on Sunday night and I got a notification early Monday morning that it had shipped three or four weeks after I bought it. Whatever. Um, that'll be there when I get home. I'll show you. Heat shielding. Is it busted? To lift the entire rear of your vehicle, just like we talked about the front, you are going to need to locate your rear door. Position the jack. You can have a friend help you if you can't exactly see uh, side to side or forward to back. Um, contact. Make sure your front wheels are chopped. You can see mine are on a diagonal pattern up there. And you can raise the vehicle. I was filming your tires for the vlog. What can you say about that? They're shot. What'd you do to them? Did you did most of the damage. Don't when I when I sold them to you, they were brand new. Uh -huh. Not uh -huh. a mark sure. on them. Sure, don't listen to him. I He's never, a liar. I never used more than a tenth throttle. Oh no. But either dickered. They're past secondary rubber. So much rust. Brake lines are in decent shape. Dude, there's no rust on the inside of the frame, like from the frame rails in. It's all the rocker panels, that's it. X. Welcome to E39 Source. Today working on my E46 again. This is a production 10 of 01 2002 model year E46 330XI sedan. We're going to be replacing um, or changing rather a bunch of fluids today. Rear differential oil. Since this is an XI model it has a front transfer case as well as transmission fluid. Um, I'll probably break this up into three videos so this may be the generic beginning clip for each. I'm going to start with the differential oil so that'll probably be the first upload and then we'll have subsequent uploads of the following fluids. I left that in there like outtakes. I'm looking up she just came hard for us boys. Are you filming? Yeah. Okay. A lot faster. Pump your bitch. 20. 25, 30, 33. <laughs> oh God. Hey, so welcome back to the vlog. I've spent the afternoon um, being really productive actually, being really busy. Came home from class, uh, got the yard done across the street, blew all the leaves off, mowed it, trimmed, blew the clippings around, got paid for that. And the other guy came over and paid me for that. So that's good news. It's good time for money to be coming in. It always is. Then I got to work on the 330, spent about four hours with that. Uh, Colt came over and lended a helping hand and we got fluids changed. So here is the um, transfer case fluid. We used Redline ATF and there's quite a bit of that left. Transmission fluid, we went with Royal Purple Synchromax, used about a quart and a half of transmission fluid. Rear differential fluid, we used BMW Final Drive Gear Oil 7590. And here are the old fluids that came out. Not a whole lot, but there it is. There's the pan I used. Uh, 330s obviously living outside, but uh, started off with the differential, took the fill bolt off, no problem breaking bolts free. Maybe had to lean into it with a torque wrench or a breaker bar. 
and um, all of those bolts came out freely and I threw the old ones away and replaced them with new ones that was cheap enough. New washers too. Um, drained out the differential oil first and I expected it to be totally black. It was gold. Somebody replaced the differential oil. Somebody changed the diff oil. I would guess in the last 10 to 20,000 miles. It looked pretty good. Um, not like the new stuff that went in. It was real clear and light yellow. Um, so that wasn't a huge pressing issue. Kind of hoped it was. I'd feel better about it. But we got fresh diff oil. Then we moved up to the transmission. Same thing. That was clean too. So somebody knew, some previous owner either had it done or whatever, knew that you should be replacing those fluids, especially with the miles it had on it. But anyways, now they're fresh. Then I went on to the transfer case. Took the drain bolt off of that. Black as night. Just disgusting, black, thick, murky oil. So I was like, yes! We're doing good today. Doing good work for the car. Um, it needed that. that. That transfer case oil was, it, I'm sure it was original. Only thing I didn't get to was the front diff. Um, ended up not having enough of the gear oil. There's about too dark in here. There's a half a quart left and it takes seven tenths. So I'm going to need to buy another one of those and it's not going to be BMW because I don't want to pay for shipping from ECS again. So how bad is it if I go out and buy another quart? I guess I'll just use a new quart. I'll just find Royal Purple or Castrol or some uh, differential 7590 weighted oil to put in there and I'll do that tomorrow or Friday or sometime this weekend. Um, and that's going to be more difficult because the fill bolt for that is up above the control arm and I'm going to have trouble getting in there. And then these female bolts. So I had to go over to Harbor Freight and spend $30 on a set because you can't buy just one. I'll show you what they are. $30 for this set of these. See, they're male bolts and I needed a 14 mil. So I thought I could take them back, but eh, I should have them on hand for doing this stuff. Add it to the tool arsenal. So to figure that out later, but then we'll have all fresh fluids. And it'll be interesting to see if that was done because rear differential and transmission fluid, those are probably the more popular ones that people do. Front diff and transfer case, only applicable to XI models. Who knows who was doing that, what kind of budget and skill set and knowledge they have. But either way, it'll be so nice to have all new fluids in that. And I think I noticed driving it that the four wheel drive system's a little smoother. Before, when you let the clutch out, you could feel it kind of clunk under the car and engage the front wheels. It, to me, it just felt like the front wheels were afterthought, and now it feels much more fluid and I'm sure how it should feel. Maybe that's just me. Uh, but I got this thing from ECS, Motive Products Power Fill. I didn't want to stand here with refrigerator hose and hold it up on a ladder with a funnel for a half hour and pour it in and watch it drip into the transmission. So I got this thing. You pump it up either with a hand pump on top or there's a Schrader valve, goes up to 30 PSI. Then there's this hose that has a valve on it. So you open up the valve when it's pressurized and then the hose where it goes into the tank goes all the way down to the bottom. So the air pressure pushes the fluid up through the hose when you open the valve. And then it's got this thing here that clips off the handle, fits in there, and then it goes up and loops into the thing. So talk about a great product, an easy way to, to, to fill that up. Um, only thing is if you need, let's say it takes one quart and you have one quart and you pour one quart in there you're not gonna get all of it out of there. It just doesn't work right. It gets stuck in the hose. You get little bits in these bottom nubs in the tank. So if you're gonna fill a quart, you really need like one and a quarter to put in there. That's the only downside of that. So sometimes you might have to buy more than you think. Um, but I'm happy with that. And that will probably lead to me doing the M5 again with maybe a higher quality oil because I did it 15,000 miles ago. I don't know. Probably doesn't need to be done, but I'd feel better doing it. So anyways, that's my five minute diatribe on that. Tomorrow's Thursday, I have one class. I have another yard to do. I'm gonna meet Joe. Alex wasn't able to make it over today to do the Life on Planet Earth coursework. So we're gonna to have to push that to tomorrow. It's gonna to be a very busy day, uh, academically too. So I'm gonna head up to bed, wrap things up tonight, and we will talk tomorrow. Something else, somebody commented something. Oh, about the snow tires. Um, I didn't reply to you on YouTube, sorry. Um, over 50 degrees, they'll wear faster. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about, and that's why I'll probably wait um, another month or several weeks anyways. I have a, a rebate coming from Tiger Rack. I would like to use that money um, to, to do the mounting and balancing, or at least that plus not too much of my own money. Um, 
so that's how that'll work. But yeah, thanks for the comment. Sorry, I didn't reply in, in text, but maybe this is better. All right, good night, guys.